Colleen was born May 1960, um, the youngest of eight children. We always knew Colleen was different, but she wasn't treated differently. She was always our little sister. At that time, there was very little sensitivity towards those with disabilities. I think that awareness was beginning and uh, growing. Mom was a nurse and she really sought out information about Down syndrome and what, what it was like, what to expect. She probably um, didn't listen to a lot of the advice that she got and, and I think she was insistent on making sure every opportunity that was available to Colleen uh, was realized. Colleen would go to Easter Seals, I think, almost every day of the week. I think she was probably around three or four. They had a program that was a Montessori-related program, and they were going to apply it to developmentally handicapped children. Which then had a huge impact on Colleen's ability to learn earlier, learn faster, and succeed uh, in the future as a learner and, and ultimately as an employee. She had a 30 years career at the government printing office. Instead of needing help, I think she gave help in many ways throughout her 30 years. When Colleen retired then at age 54, after 30 some years with the government printing office, there was an opportunity for her to volunteer at the Intergenerational Center I think Colleen enjoyed her time at the Intergenerational Center for a couple of reasons. To feel a sense of accomplishment, to be associated with other fun people to be around. So it was a good opportunity for her to volunteer and contribute. And I think that kept her sharp, engaged, happy. Colleen is now almost 57 years old. She is doing extremely well, but she's aging earlier than you or I would. Um, and she's dealing with the challenges that come with that. But she still has a loving community that she's part of, and she's still engaged, and she still has a great sense of humor. Oh, I think Colleen was extremely fortunate to have had the path starting as early as she did with Easter Seals. There's no question that she had the preparation she needed for what she went on to do later. Colleen has had a much fuller life than anyone would have ever predicted, I think, in 1960. Everyone from doctors to educators, um, and she's been very, very successful. <laughs>